everybody. <clears throat> my name is Julie. Sorry, I was a couple minutes late. I wasn't thinking when I ordered my Mart, uh, grocery delivery and I just brought it in and put away like the perishables and the rest is sitting over there waiting. So anyhow, my apologies. I wasn't thinking when I scheduled that, but hey, guess what? This is <clears throat> our fifth. Yes. <laughs> Our fifth uh, Friday live stream in a row. Fifth Friday live stream, Friday live stream, yes, in a row. I need some of my Diet Coke. I already had an espresso. I was gonna make some coffee and then I started doing chores. Stay tuned for a <laughs> insane, ludicrous cleaning with me video that should be coming tonight or tomorrow. Probably put it up tomorrow. I don't know. It depends. I have a birthday party thing to get ready for. And anyway, family stuff. <coughs> but we'll see. But I got myself involved. You know how it is, okay? First, hello, everyone. Hi, hello. Welcome, welcome. Sorry, I'll get into the comments in a minute. But let me first just tell you. If you, if you know me at all, I mean, we've been on here seven years, okay? So, um... If you know me at all, you will know that once I start a project, and especially if I say, I'm only gonna do this little part of it, that little part of it, da 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 da, you know that's a lie. And not an intentional lie, but it is a lie. It's not gonna work out that way. I'm gonna end up what is that piece of plastic bag? I am going to end up biting off way more than I can chew and just going overboard. And then I will inevitably, no, not the dresser this time, Ma uh, Manuela, my love, not the dresser this time. This time it's the couches in the living room and the living room itself and the floor, but not yet the shelves, though that's probably gonna happen. Yee, you know, Pamela, Pamela, guess what? <laughs> That's what we're opening today, Pamela, my darling. Oh, I'm so glad that you are here. Yes, I went and picked it up a couple days ago, a few days ago. Anyway, uh, <coughs> you guys gotta know, okay? You gotta know, <coughs> sorry, allergies, and dust and good lord <coughs> I went overboard oh I remember what I was saying so I'll put that video up and invariably there will be someone who very rightly very appropriately will say god damn Julie where were your kids why did you have the kids do that why why are you doing this kind of nonsense you have a team you have your babies they're teenagers they can you know da 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 Guys, guys, thank you first. And you know that my kids, they do lots of chores, whether they enjoy it or not. <laughs> that's a different story. But in this house, mm, sorry, part of a granola bar. All right. In this house, everybody helps. Everybody works. We're a team. And, um, and my kids, they are amazing. Like I said, whether they enjoy doing the chores or not as well. And if it takes some encouraging by their father and I. Well, I mean, that's their kids. What are you going to do? Uh, so they do, they do a lot. Okay. They do a lot. And yes, I should have had them help me with this project or even maybe had them just do the whole project. And initially, actually that was the plan. But back to what I <coughs> was saying, <coughs> sorry, there's going to be coughing. It's all the dust the cat hair, good lord, and then the allergies. <coughs> oh, I think I have a, I have a cough drop. Oh my god, because I found one. Look, don't judge me. I found one under the couch. It's still in a wrapper. I, I'm a dumpster diver. Okay, so I mean, this isn't from the dumpsters. It's <laughs> the dumpster under my couch. Um, <coughs> so I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed, but whatever. I had a cough drop from the couch in my pocket. Ah. 
anyway, <coughs> uh, <coughs> God, <coughs> come on, cough drop, do your work. Anyhow, once I start on something, even with the plan in mind that I'm going to have the kids <coughs> do this part, do that part, dee 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 dee. This is just what happens. But I just noticed I have the wrapping paper right there. There it is. Behind me in the hallway, ready to go in the attic. And guess what? I've been very tempted, but I have not taken it up into the attic on my own. So yes, I overdo it. Yes, I bite off way too much. But sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I am smart I am responsible with my body so that stuff's waiting there to go in the attic the problem is I've had to have Reagan my son put several things for me into the attic the last few weeks because my foot has been acting up p.s. I see the foot doctor this Monday uh, if you want to know more about that journey uh, follow my grown-up unfiltered channel my current obsession but anyhow I haven't been able to get up there and so I've had him putting things up there and it's kind of a disaster. So honestly, I don't want him to put those up yet and I told him this morning that this weekend of a morning when it's nice and cool because it warmed up this week, it's gorgeous. You guys are talking about your weather. Here it's about 70 degrees and for this week it's going to average between 70 and like 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Gorgeous. I spent so much time in the yard yesterday. Lord. Um, But of a coal, a cold, a cold, of a cool morning, Reagan and I are going to get up there and I'm going to kind of, you know, direct and he's my agile little, you know, monkey gazelle. And so I will have him help me do the work that I historically have done myself, um, but that I shouldn't be doing myself right now. And definitely not until we finally someday put a floor in the attic. So we'll get that tidied up and, and sorted probably record some of it and then have him put the wrapping paper and stuff up there. Okay, <coughs> before we get to this fabulous package from Pamela, I'm going to hop into the comments. Manuela says the cherry trees are blooming. They are here as well. <coughs> and on my, my current obsession channel where I now do my gardening, uh, I will take you guys out to see ours if they're still in bloom. I don't know. I might be too late. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, Holly from the UK. <clears throat> For Melly, good Lord, 82 degrees in San Diego, or not San Diego, San Antonio. Um, no loopy loo today, pain free. Melly, are you talking about me or you? Because I'm in a lot of pain right now. I've got my foot over here up on a a footstool with a really nice pillow. <laughs> really looking forward to my visit with the foot surgeon. He's the one who put my foot back together, uh, visiting with him on Monday. Really looking forward to that. Actually, I mean, I am, but I'm also kind of terrified of what he's going to say and if we're going to have to do a revision to take out the titanium. Anywho, let's see. And then... Bit of a hello, Vin Julianne. I'm so glad you're here. And Rhonda, good night. 56 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, we're going to be back to that like next week for hopefully not very long. Hopefully not very long, which I think it'll be nice because it's quite warm and quite sunny. And so it'll be nice to have a little bit of a dip, but not quite down to like snow level to get out and do some more yard work. Um. Anywho, it looks like you guys were chit-chatting while I was bringing in the groceries. Um, let's see, Manuela is enjoying the weather in Berlin. Someday I will come to Berlin. Someday. I have, you guys know, I have a whole list of, what do you call it, um, places. <laughs> so many places that I would love. Oh, God. So many places I would love to go. Um, Pamela is in, is that Rhode Island? Let me look. Yep. Rhode Island. I've been to Rhode Island once or twice. Probably once, maybe twice. 
I don't remember. I was, uh, a lot of you know this, but I was a nanny for a family in Connecticut back when I was like 19 and 20. And so we traveled, I traveled with them, you know, I would work, work, travel, whatever. Anyway, um, and went to Rhode Island. I can't remember exactly where we were. I remember we went to a pizza place and it was the first time that I had barbecue pizza with like chicken and onions on it. Good Lord. It's my favorite ever since. I think we, it was, I think Newport. I don't know. There were a lot of sailors and I was a young single lady. I, it was beautiful. I loved my time there. It was great. Um, hello, Joanne Van Hook. I am well. I'm in very good spirits, in a bit of pain, uh, but um, very good spirits. So I think that's most important. Uh, let's see. Yes, Holly, someday when I get to the UK, we are going to have coffee. Now, listen, I have said in the past, because you guys know, well, some of you know, <clears throat> that I've thought for a long time, though I'm very proud of my Mexican-American heritage, I've thought for a long time that I was actually meant to be British. Just because I love gardening, I love gloomy weather, it's so many things. Castles, pomp and circumstance, just a lot of silly things like that. And, um... I have wanted for so long to go to the UK for so long. Hasn't happened yet, but it will. And hello, Vicky. Oh, I'm so glad you're able to be here today. This is our fifth Friday live stream in a row. I'm doing it. Um, so it's on my list to someday get over there and go to Kew Gardens. Oh, during like their whatever it's called, the like exhibition and stuff like that, you know? Um, is it my past life, Rhonda? Maybe. <laughs> um, there's so, oh, there's so much. There's too much. There's just too much um, that I want to do, that I want to see, that I want to experience. But anyway, I had thought, all that to say, I had thought that somehow I would force myself to like tea, to like drinking tea, so that when I finally realized my dream and got to the UK, I could sit in a beautiful garden at a lovely little bistro type table, maybe under a trellis, uh, drinking tea, eating crumpets, little tea cakes, whatever. That was what I thought. And I've tried. And I think I, I'm almost certain I told you guys that uh, I was going to try. And I did. I followed through. I can't do it. I don't like tea. Can't. Nope. Nope. Bleh. I can't do it. I am sorry, my UK friends and other tea drinkers. It's not going to happen. So yes, when I do finally get out there, over there, across the pond, it's still going to be coffee for me. <laughs> do they? Tell me, please. Do they serve coffee in, like, the tea houses? Tell me, please. Uh, I tried so many different teas, Manuela. I couldn't even tell you. The only ones that I will still drink are the ones that are, like, medicinal, like my chamomile and uh, echinacea and stuff like that if I need them. Uh, hello, Lori Parsons, longtime subscriber. Uh, having many life challenges, but I'm here now and I have missed you so much. You make me smile and laugh. Lori, thank you for saying that. I really appreciate that. I love it when people get my flavor. <laughs> the me that is me and appreciate me for who I am. So thank you for being here. I'm glad that you've been able to get through those health challenges and that you're able to be here. That's something I can absolutely understand and empathize with. Let's see. Um, we do the best we can, Lori. We just, uh, we do the best that we can. You know, we keep powering through. Uh, Rhonda, <laughs> you know me, my love, you know me. Yes, Long Island iced tea is one of my all-time favorite grown-up drinks. Delicious. Uh, they'll knock you on your, on your ass, but 
delicious. <sighs> mm. If it's done right. Let's see. Uh, oh, Melly, Kitty is, where is she? I think she's outside enjoying the sunshine somewhere. <laughs> She'll let me know when she wants to come in. Uh, let's see. Hello, Sandy Lee. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. He's cleaning out the linen closet. So, Sandy, you weren't here when I started the live stream. I don't think you were. Major crazy clean with me video coming up probably tomorrow. I got myself started on a project. And then I couldn't stop. But it's still not done. So when I'm done here with you guys, then I'm probably going to finish it. <laughs> so hello to you and your husband. Oh, Holly, good to know. How about that? She says, I hate tea and I'm British. Well, hot diggity. There you go. Let's see. Um, oh, Vicky, thank you so much. If possible, Vicky and anybody who... um chooses to send us cards, letters, packages, whatever, um, please, if possible, uh, email me and let me know, like, if you have a, um, what do you call it, tracking number or expected date for it to arrive. Arrive. I don't live close to the P.O. box for safety and privacy reasons, and so uh, if you can let me know when it's going to be there, then I can make sure to get over and get it right away. Otherwise, I, I go you know, every couple of weeks. But if I know there's something waiting, then I will make a special trip. So thank you. Let's see. Holly says, yes, they do serve coffee. We're talking in the UK, but we don't have coffee creamer, just milk. Holly. <laughs> Holly. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that I'm going to have to sneak some creamer onto the plane with me? <laughs> Do you at least have it like at the grocery store so I can go get some and, and bring it when we meet up to have tea and crumpets, coffee and crumpets? Come on. Come on, babe. Look, 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 <laughs> it is a dream to come to the UK. You know, finding this out, this is why the universe decided I wasn't going to be British. Now I, now I understand. <gasps> Manuela, God, you've never seen creamers in Germany in a grocery store. So what do you, what do you put in your coffee? Just milk? Half and half? Do you have half and half? Please tell me you at least have half and half. Oh my God, this is. You know, Germany was on my list too. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> Um, guys, yes, Vin Julianne, my darling, yeah, um, I gotta have my creamer, chocolate and caramel sauce, Rhonda, I could do that, um, you're right, I could do that with the milk, could try to make that work, Manuela likes the black coffee, and you know, uh, with a really high quality coffee bean, I could see that happening for me in a desperate situation. <laughs> but, but I figure to do England the way that I want to and the UK, and especially because of my body making that flight is going to be kind of horrific <laughs> for this body. I'm going to have to fly first class so I can have the bed thing, you know, kind of seat to lay down. So uh, in kind of calculating, it's going to cost me like six or seven thousand dollars at least. Probably more like eight or nine thousand dollars, mostly because of the plane uh, to be able to do England. 
If I'm going to get all the way over there, and y'all don't have my coffee creamer, I mean, that's a lot of money. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm rethinking some things. Well, Manuela says Starbucks is alive and well in Germany, so there's some hope. Um, Holly says we have coffee mate powder, but no coffee creamer. No, we don't have half and half either. We have double cream and single cream. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Is that like um, heavy creamer? Is that like the the uh, American version? Is that would would that be equivalent to heavy cream? Does anyone know? Like whipping cream or something? Oh, I'm going to have to think this through. Pamela just started drinking coffee last year. Welcome to the dark side. I'm so glad to have you. Um, <clears throat> and you like the Snickers. I've done a review. It's not my favorite, but um, I really enjoyed it. I, and I do enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> but, um, but I've done a review of the Snickers creamer on my grown-up channel, My Current Obsession. <clears throat> I have a couple other coffee creamer flavors that I need to get some review videos done of. But then I keep getting caught up in cleaning projects and spring cleaning and crazy dresser adventures. And ugh. Yeah, Manuela, I know. I know. But for me, here, I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, uh, <laughs> To not have my Kramer, I just can't even imagine. I can't. That really is like it, it took my my brain turned off for a second there because anticipate or not anticipating, imagining that horror, that nightmare. No, I don't need that negativity in my life. <laughs> I have even now that James got me the espresso machine for my birthday, I've learned how to froth my coffee creamer. <laughs> it's been <laughs> it's been a messy adventure. I'm still working on getting like the the temperature and stuff. I don't know correctly. Rita, my darling, you're here. I finally got your card in the mail. Hopefully you get it this weekend or like Monday or Tuesday. Rita. Yeah, I wrote it forever ago. I finally got it in the mail. I'm sorry it took so long, but you know me. That's me. But it's it should be um arriving any day now. Uh, so I'm glad you're here. Let's see. Manuela says you'll find Starbucks and for sure a well-served coffee at Harold's. Well, then I will have to uh, visit that. Um... <clears throat> oh god sandy lee to get my husband on a live stream and like cleaning stuff no it'll never happen it will never happen guys let's talk about how hard it is <clears throat> to get him on any of my videos it's not his thing you know i've tried for years and every now and then I'll sneak him into a video and you'll see his hand coming up to the camera. Why? I don't know. He has his own little channel where he does biking videos. I don't know. He loves me. He supports me. Whatever. But, um, no, a live stream? Never gonna happen. <laughs> um, I will tell you, you can tell your husband, Sandy Lee, that yesterday, James did dishes. I made a delicious dinner of homemade pizza, and he did dishes. So, there you go. <laughs> um, oh, God, Rita. No, 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 no. Rita. Rita, not your foot. No. Uh, Rita, I am right now at this moment. My foot, the foot, I have it on a step stool with a pillow. It because I've been overdoing it and na na na. Um, and I'm seeing the foot doctor, Rita, on Monday to see what we need to do next. Your feet, 
I don't know. You guys tell me which is worse, hurting your hands or your feet? Because either one, what happened, Rita? And what, what are you, are you, do you have to have surgery, a cast? Oh, I'm so sorry, Rita. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. The, oh, the feet. It's, ugh. Yeah. God, I understand. Yeah. On that note, let's switch to something a little happier. Let's open this package from Pamela because we are almost at the halfway mark. And so I went to the P.O. Box. I picked this up. The P.O. Box address should be in the video description of all of our videos on this channel. You tripped and fell backwards. Oh, my God. So are you having surgery or getting a cast? Um... Okay, Pamela says, I have to, she's giving us a disclaimer. I have to say sorry about my warped sense of humor. You've come to the right place, my love. You'll understand from my letter, got it from my father. I have often been accused of having a very strange sense of humor and being very morbid and weird. Very strange. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Uh, Pamela... Awesome. Okay, another note. If you're going to send us anything, cards, letters, packages, first, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, please indicate if it's okay for me to read it alive, show it, whatever, on a live stream, <clears throat> which is what I normally do uh, anytime we get mail. Because if you don't indicate it, then I've got to use my best judgment. So if it's something very personal or whatever, please, you know, let me know. And I will absolutely respect your wishes. So, okie dokie. But Pamela indicated it is okay to read this. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> we've got Wiley Coyote here from the uh, Looney Tunes days. It says, may your birthday be bold, brilliant, etc. <laughs> And out of control. Hope it's a blast. That is fantastic. I grew up on um, Looney Tunes and all that nonsense. Bugs Bunny and The Martian and uh, Pepe Le Pew and Wiley Coyote, Roadrunner, all of that. My goodness. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Rita, you fractured it, chipped some bones. Oh, or some bone chips. Okay, but are you going to have it in a cast? Or like a foot cast? Oh, okay. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you probably don't want to have to share everything on here. I apologize for that. Yeah, uh, I will look uh, on Instagram and try to catch up uh, catch up with you there. All right? Anyway, this is beep, beep. Um, a friend from Bristol, Rhode Island, Pam. Thank you, Pam. That is so fantastic. Is that a map? It is. That looks like my life right there. <laughs> I'm guessing that the letter is also okay to read because it was included in the card. My lady from Utah, have I ever been addressed in a better way than that? My lady from Utah. I'm actually from California, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, God. Listen to this. That's what I called you when talking to my mother, my lady from Utah. I like it. She passed away January 27th, 2022, the day before her 73rd birthday. Her name was Florence and she loved coloring. Pamela, I'm sorry for your loss. I know how hard uh, it can be to lose um, a parent. My daddy, rest in peace. <clears throat> it's, it's, yep, I, I, you have my condolences. Um, Sorry, blasted cough drop is helping with the coughs, but then it's like doing weird stuff. <clears throat> anyway, so she loved coloring, which is fantastic. I found these coloring books in her collection, and I want you to have them. Why do you guys do this? Ah! Many of you will probably see it. This is I shouldn't just ever wear makeup. 
on a live stream ever again, unless someday I get like waterproof stuff again. This is not the first time that one of our ridiculously fabulous frugal friends has sent us something special from one of their family members who have passed on. At first, I was shocked, overwhelmed. I still am shocked, <laughs> a little overwhelmed about those kinds of gifts. And I, um, I didn't understand um, uh, why, why our frugal friends would send me something like that. And as time has gone on, and we've developed these, you know, relationships such as they are through the YouTubes. I've gotten some messages and letters and things like that that have helped me to understand much better why. And I just have to say how honored, um, how honored and flattered. I am, and that to let you guys know that I do my very best to honor and uh, take care of those those treasures that you choose to give to me, because you know that there's something I will enjoy and will treasure, and um, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful not something I ever, sorry, um, not something I ever anticipated would happen with, with a YouTube channel, you know, but like I said, I've come to understand why, and it's a beautiful thing, and I'm so grateful. God, I'm so grateful, and I do. I treasure the, the things that you guys send us, um, all the things that are sent to us, of course, but especially those things. There's, you know, been a couple of watches and some uh, figurines, some ornaments, other things over the years from uh, people's parents or loved ones collections. And I feel like there's, it's not just the item that comes, but there's something that comes with it, like a piece of that person or um, their life, their story, their experience, you know, something may be imprinted, if you will, onto those items that I then get to um, give a new home. And there's something really beautiful about that because a lot of the people on YouTube that we become friends with will never meet in real life. You know, it's just not realistic to think that we will. And um, yet we get a little piece of you, of your family, we get to sort of, in a kind of existential way, meet through the mail, through these treasures. So something that, that you touched, that you held, now I get to, and to have in my home. And it's, it's this bizarre kind of, sorry, I'm going off now, but it's something I've thought about a lot. This very strange connection to have with people, kind of like when people used to do pen pal letters, you know? This strange connection with people you'll never, not likely, ever meet physically in real life. But you do get to share something together. It's a, it's a very strange relationship. Thanks to the internet, YouTube, all of this. It's very strange. And I've thought so much about it. And it's also incredibly beautiful and human. And maybe I'm thinking thinking too much. I don't know. Because I do that. You guys know that I do. Um, but it's beautiful. So thank you, those that have chosen to share this kind of stuff with us. It's beautiful, and I'm honored. <sighs> anyway, um, when I first saw them, these uh, coloring books, I said, for Julie. <laughs> I was going to send them sooner, but as you know, life. <laughs> what? What are you saying, Pamela, that life happens and gets in the way? <laughs> yes, you are, and I agree. Uh, when you had your accident, I had two thoughts. God. 
when you had your accident, she's talking about my foot. Who knew that a freaking breaking your foot could like nearly destroy your life, ruin your life. <laughs> it can. <clears throat> I had two thoughts. Oh my God. I hope she's going to be all right. She doesn't deserve this. Thank you for saying that. <clears throat> Not that anyone deserves it, but thank you for saying that because I've gone through the uh, blame game for myself over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And two, <laughs> those rocks went, oh God. <laughs> oh, Pamela, dad joke. Dad joke incoming. Those rocks went maximum overdrive on her. That's the only Stephen King movie I watched. Ah, your YouTube friend from Rhode Island, Pam Brown. What does she mean by that? There is a book, a horrible but fabulous, fabulously horrible book written by my idol, Stephen King, um, called Maximum Overdrive. The movie, you gotta see the movie. He, he helped like, excuse me, direct it and stuff. And he was coked out of his mind at the time. Stephen King was. So, and you you can tell when you watch that movie. Out of his gourd. But it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, did they go maximum overdrive on my foot? Those rocks. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Pamela, thank you so much for that uh, little letter there. Ah! Now, let's see what's in here. Um, Vicky says, I miss both my parents. My mom's anniversary of her death is coming up April 17th after being a quadriplegic for nearly 20 years. Good Lord. Ah. I don't know how people do it. I don't know. You guys know I nearly lost my mind not being able to use my foot, not being able to walk, having to lay on that couch over there gaining 30 pounds. I don't know how people do it. Um, Vicky also says, I've done other live streams, but I didn't feel the deep connection I have with you, Julie. Good Lord. Vicky. <sighs> Thank you. I've told you guys a million times, I have almost quit YouTube like at least twice a year for the last seven years. I've almost quit because of the negative sides of it. Because they're there. There are negative sides. Uh, and then I get comments like that, messages, stuff like that. And, and not only that, but the connections made um, and how those have carried me <laughs> through the burning down roller coaster circus that has been our lives throughout my YouTube career. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, ah, there comes Holly in with a bang and with a boom. <laughs> That's a Seinfeld sort of reference there for you. Holly says, I think we all feel like that, Julie. You are a special person and we all love you. And I love you. You're killing me. But thank you. Um, again, these relationships, YouTube is so strange. It's so freaking strange. I think a big part of what it comes down to, the feeling of connection or whatever, is that, um, what you get is me. Like, this is me. Except in real life, I swear a lot more. <laughs> this is real life, but, but on here, I, 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 censor as much as I can. I filter as much as I can in the swears department. Uh, and I'm definitely more vocal about politics and personal beliefs and stuff like that outside of here. <laughs> but other than that, you get the real me. I'm also louder, if you can believe. I know, shock. Um, I'm even louder outside of here. I've had people ask, in comments and stuff like that. Like, is she for real? Is she really this loud? Is this girl like on something? Is it, no, 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 no. And in fact, on here, that's the the 
toned down version of me. Crazy, huh? It's, um, yeah, it's who I am. Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> and I think that's part of why we connect is because when I come on here, other than the not swearing, um, you're, you're just getting me, the real me. I don't need to put on a persona or a thing or even makeup. Because you guys know. I mean, I try. I try to put on a face for you whenever I can, but it's, you know? The couch needed to be cleaned. You would not believe how disgusting it is. You just get, you get me. And how do you make a connection with something or someone that, that's a veneer, that's a facade? I don't know how you can make a real connection with a pretend person. <laughs> a pretend person. So, I don't know. That is what I think is the thing. Um, either that or we are cut from the same loony cloth. We are kindred spirits of a variety. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I do think that that's part of it is that this is just me, the real and honest me. Um, and I think maybe that's why we're able to connect. Maybe there's Bonnie. Bonnie, my darling. Hi, <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. You are just in time to see me finally pull these coloring books out of this package that Pamela sent to us. So let's do that. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Alice. Oh my God. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. What are my favorite rides in Disneyland? in California. They are Winnie the Pooh, because <laughs> it's so like, da -da 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 -da. and then the other thing that's also very da -da 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 -da, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That ride is so loony. Yes, Holly, mm, another loony connection. Vicki, you are welcome. Thank you for letting me just be me. I love Alice in Wonderland. It is, if I'm just like doing stuff, in the house and I need some background. That is one of the animated features that I will put on and it's just kind of there and I'll be doing stuff and then sometimes I'll sit and just watch it for a minute and then I'll be doing my stuff and I'll be listening and whatever and I can have it just play over and over and over. Why? I don't know. Part of it, I think it's because it's all the colorfulness and the looniness and the psychedelic wacky kind of stuff, but it just speaks to me. It speaks to me so much. Stop it. Holly lives very close to Ashdown Forest, home of the real Winnie the Pooh. Is Winnie the Pooh on this one? He probably is. The other book. <laughs> this is Art of Coloring Disney Animals, 100 Images to Inspire Creativity and Relaxation. And we've got like Bambi and the Aristocats and Dumbo and Jiminy Cricket, and then 101 Dalmatians, and Little Simba. Um, oh, I love that green. That's fantastic. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, we have like everything you could want. <laughs> Jungle Book! Ah! And uh, let's see. Oh, we have Bagheera, more Jungle Book. We have Dalmatians. We have... <laughs> the hyenas from Lion King. I love them. Oh, they're... <laughs> is, it, you, it, that shouldn't be a surprise, right? That, that I enjoy them. That shouldn't be a surprise at all, especially the... <laughs> oh, there's a dragon in here? I don't know. Does it have like a know, table of contents? Oh, God. Sandy, thank you for that. Let's see. Well, I'll have to look for the dragon. But there's... God, there's so many. Oh, and Merida. And the White Rabbit. And Jiminy Cricket. Oh, I love him. <laughs> 
He's the one that sings my very most favorite Disney song that I play over and over and over because I have the record of it. I play it over and over and over on the record player. Then we have Little Mermaid and Merida. Hello. Oh, near the back? She says it's near the back. And we have time because we've got 15 more minutes. So we're going to find it. Is it the, probably the Maleficent Dragon is my guess. Um, but then I want to look through the Alice one. Because I do, I do love Alice in Wonderland. I have a really awesome color changing coffee mug. That's Alice and the Cheshire Cat. Speaking of which, look who we have here. And also in the comment section, there's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. I'm glad you're here. Um, still looking. I am towards the back of the book. Um, oh, and there's Snow White. I was just watching that the other day. Um, and a little bluebird. And actually more Alice in Wonderland. Oh, oh my God. It, the, they're the sidekicks. It does actually have like chapters. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, okay. So these have to be the villains because that's Shere Khan and that's Scar. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this Ursula. <laughs> interesting they have okay this is weird it's gonna make me think a little bit though it's appropriate uh they have beast in the villain section think about that one a little bit beast in our beast beast in the pillow section pillow section god i'm reading and i'm thinking and all my brains are going and jamie's coming in with ten dollars canadian saying for more coffee tee -hee. jamie we you missed you're gonna have to go back and watch jamie thank you by the way thank you but you're gonna have to go back and watch we had a whole conversation jamie 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 we had a whole conversation about things i had no idea nightmares around the world certain places in the world where they don't have coffee creamer or even half and half i mean i goosebumps <laughs> jamie you missed it you're gonna have to go back i learned so many new things because these are places i want to see i want to go i want to travel <clears throat> but i'm gonna have to be prepared it's uh terrifying. Sandy, have a wonderful, fabulous weekend yourself. Have fun with, uh, with the hubs. Um, oh, Melly, thank you so much for that. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I just, I just don't know. I don't know. Um, but it's true, apparently, because I trust you guys. And there, there are real life nightmare places that are also beautiful and wonderful. And I want to go see but that don't have coffee creamer. Jamie, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe what I need to do is get enough of it in my system before I go. <laughs> or bring like a, you know, you put into your veins and it's a IV of the, <laughs> I'm just ah, it's been a busy morning, guys. It's been a busy morning. Holly says, we have played poo sticks on poo bridge on the real poo stick bridge. <sighs> Look, I love the one at Disneyland. That's one of my favorite areas in the entire park. And part of the reason that the, um, the same sort of uh, attraction in Disney World just sucks because they don't have the poo bridge, but you've, you've played at the real one. And the ponds that appear in Heffalump Hollow are our family favorite area to visit. You've been there. Okay, I haven't. It's on my list. But, but what I have done is, okay, Holly, yes, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. Um, Bonnie, I love Eeyore as well. I have several Eeyore things. I adore him. Um, <laughs> Melly, thank you. <laughs> My mom thinks I'm okay sometimes. Um, and I like being able to be, you know, who I am. So thank you. But 
when I took Olivia, my oldest, when I took her, um, P.S., um, just another shout out that Olivia's high school graduation is coming up next month. Go, oh, God. And we still got to get her pictures done. Her graduation is next month. If you would like to send a card to congratulate her on this monumental, monumentous accomplishment that it has been for her and for our family, for her to graduate, the shipping address, our, our address, is in the video description of all of our edited videos. I would be amazed. I would be thrilled. I would be so grateful till the day I die if anyone wanted to send um, a graduation card to my Lulu. Putting that out there. But anyway, um with Lulu years ago, back at the beginning of our YouTube channel. Um, Alyssa, that is just fine. Thank you so much. Um, her and I went to New York City. It was her turn for a one-on-one -on -one trip. And uh, we were able to go to the New York City Public Library. And in the New York City Public Library, they had this amazing glass case display of the original Winnie the Pooh stuffed animals. The real ones, the real legit, they're in rough shape. They're beautiful stuffed animals. Yeah. So I haven't been to the bridge and I want to go, but I have seen the, the stuffed animals. And that was an amazing experience because you guys know that I love Winnie the Pooh. God, I love Winnie the Pooh so much. Still looking for this dragon. <laughs> You guys put up with me. I don't know how. I can barely put up with me. Aha! And it's fabulous, guys. I'm sorry. I was, thing disappeared. Um. <laughs> it is the Maleficent dragon. Look at that. Can you imagine when this is all colored in? Yeah. <laughs> If you didn't know, uh, my favorite Disney uh, movie for a long, long time, a long time, um, was Sleeping Beauty. I don't know that it's my very favorite now because there have been so many other movies and it was my favorite from childhood, but it is still one of my favorites, especially because of Maleficent. Yeah, sometimes I just really like the dark side. This is fantastic. Real quick, I wanted to look at the Alice one and show you guys kind of what we have in here. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and there she is with the, um, God, what are they called? Flamingos? Are they flamingos or are they? I think they're flamingos. Ah. The first thing she heard was a general chorus of, there goes Bill, then the rabbit's voice alone, catch him, you by the hedge. Um, this is actually, oh, look, the Cheshire Cat. This is actually, I believe, from the original. Um, cause, oh, it does, it says featuring the uh, classic illustrations by Sir John Tenniel. So actually, oh, that's fantastic. These, I was not expecting that. I was expecting, and I'm so glad it's not, um, I was expecting this to be just kind of the uh, Disneyland version, Disney version, but it's not. We, we're getting like the original illustrations. I thought it was just his butt hanging out at first. He's got pants on. Um, <laughs> Oh, and there's their white rabbit. Oh, this is just darling. Oh, look how fun. All right, two more seconds. <laughs> That's gotta be the original Queen of Hearts, right? I've never read, um, I'm almost kind of ashamed to say this. I don't, at least I don't think I ever have read like the original Alice's Adventures in Wonderland or Through the Looking Glass. I don't think I've ever actually read them. There they are. Painting the roses red. Painting the roses. And a bunch of clocks. This, Pamela, 
thank you. Oh my goodness, thank you. These are fantastic. I, they're fantastic. They are fantastic. They're perfect. And I am so grateful to have them. Thank you very much for sharing these with me uh, in honor of your mother. And um, they will be enjoyed here in our home very much. Let's catch up on some comments and then we shall wrap it up. Uh, Jamie says, I love Winnie the Pooh too. I, did I know that? Maybe I knew that. I don't know, Jamie. Did I? I don't know if I knew that. Um, you have a fleece blanket of him and a Winnie the Pooh bear. Mm. And for Pamela, it's Robin Hood. I love Robin Hood. Good stuff. Um, my family and I, we, we quote from there a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> Like if, we're, okay, quick example. If we're talking about something that we really like or something that was awesome or something that was fancy, we'll be like, it's the Royal Box. It's the Royal Box. Because anyway, you have, <laughs> if you've seen it, then you know. And lots of other, um, other lines from that. Lots of good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's see. What? Manuela, she says that at the America House in the city of Berlin, I'm assuming you mean they don't have coffee creamer at the America House? Mind blown again. I don't understand. I just don't. Um, Holly says there is a little tea shop that sells Pooh Bear shaped toast and honey. Stop it. It has a wonderful little museum within the tea shop. Pooh Bear shaped toast and honey. Just a smackerel, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> ah! We'll add that to the list. Um, oh, Bonnie's got rain happening. Bonnie, we are having the most gorgeous stretch of just a few days. And then it's supposed to rain and get a little bit cool, but only for a few days, hopefully. We'll see. Um, yeah, Vin Julianne, they're fantastic. Um, oh, that's right. I knew there was. Because ah, I had done it. Um, I knew there was something else because I had done a sneak peek. I hadn't seen what was in here, but except for this. I'm so sorry, Pamela. I totally forgot. Um, and then there it is because I pulled the books out and then I started looking through all the books and then you know how I do and I -do 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 -do. <laughs> squirrel. Um, and so I totally forgot. She also crocheted, crocheted us a gorgeous little pink heart. I'm going to put that right there. How about that? Thank you, Pamela. Crocheting is not something I ever learned how to do. My daughter has learned how to do it. Um, Jamie, yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Manuela, that's very possible because in Europe, you guys have much stricter like rules or whatever about ingredients than we do here in the US of America. It's still the Wild West when it comes to like the FDA and, and food or pretend food and weird ingredients. That's the, that's here. We we're just um, somehow still alive. I don't know. So maybe it is forbidden there. I hadn't even thought of that. I had not even considered that a possibility. Vicki, I am so glad that our live streams make your days brighter. It does the same for me. You also have yourself a great weekend. Uh, Bonnie had thunderstorms last night and it was nice until now. Oh, and you're in the car. Be careful, bon uh, Bonnie. Be careful out there. Um, I love me a good thunderstorm when I'm at home, have nowhere to go, and remembered to put like the umbrella down out in like the laughing place garden. Then I love me a good, windy, crazy, loud thunderstorm, thunder and lightning storm. Love all of it. Not when I'm driving, not when I left stuff outside. No, not when I have somewhere to be or somewhere to go or, yeah, no. So you be careful and you be safe, Miss Bonnie. Guys, we have hit one hour and my foot is screaming at me. 
screaming. So I am going to elevate it right here on this very couch. I'm going to put on my ice pack ankle foot thing that I showed you guys, did a video of somewhere here or maybe I did it on the other channel. I don't know, but I'm going to put that on my foot. I'm going to put my foot up there. I'm going to watch a show about murder because that's what I do. Okay, real quick story though, real quick for those who are hanging out for a minute, if you don't mind. Um, why do I, I do? I always apologize um, when we're kind of going over time. But um, but listen, I was watching a show. This is so, okay, look, listen, listen. I said a little earlier, I do have a, a very dark, morbid, gallow sense of humor and also of self-soothing and comfort. Very rarely is it like happy, fun, silly, funny stuff that I go to for comfort. No, 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 no. For me, more often, it's like really dark stuff. True crime, zombie shows, horror. A lot of you know this about me. Well, a channel that I've really gotten into is called Police Activity. I don't recommend it for most people. I mean, it's an amazing channel, but... um but you gotta be the right kind of person to watch it because it's like body cam footage of really intense, often violent encounters that the police have. And um, uh, I, I know, me too, Jamie. Listen, Linda. Um, but anyway, <laughs> listen, Jamie. So anyhow, I was watching police activity here on the TV in the living room and my husband came in and he was he sat down and then he heard like shooting and stuff and looked up and realized it was real and not just like John Wick or something and he's like this is disgusting why are you watching this I'm like had to explain to him yet again even though we've been together almost 20 years this August will be 19 years married um I had to explain again listen my love my body is a burning down circus eating itself from the inside out in my joints. Like, it's like tape and hope holding this thing together. And probably some webs somewhere in there. This is comforting to me because, yeah, I'm in like, if I'm awake, I'm in pain and it sucks. But I'm not in that situation. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know why that is just my comfort. It just is. It just is. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, oh, interesting, Pamela. I bet Olivia knows about it. Um, an anime called Helsing that takes place in England during World War II. Vampires, and if I remember, zombies. I'll have to look it up because maybe that's one that me and Lulu can watch together. And Holly says, love you, Julie. Enjoy your rest. You have brought a smile to me tonight. Oh, Holly, thank you. Uh, you guys brought me a smile as well. So, you know, we have a symbiotic, mutually beneficial relationship, and I am grateful for it. Now, time for either some zombies or some shooty shoot. Mm, true crime. Serial killers, murders, horrible things, horrible, terrible things that you would never want to experience in real life. But when your foot is hurting like crazy, somehow it helps. It helps me. That's who it helps. <laughs> Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much for your generosity, your love, your kindness, for letting me be me, for appreciating this exactly as it is. It means everything to me. All right. We will see you guys all, well, soon but also here next Friday, okay, okay.